So when I was 16, I somehow contracted a flesh-eating bacteria in my chest. I broke my spine and became a paraplegic then. I had just turned 32 when I was diagnosed with cancer. I believe I started self-harming when I was in the eighth grade, around 13 or 14. My mom had passed away at the age of 50 from breast cancer. So to me, it was a no-brainer to get a bilateral mastectomy. I'm a lung transplant survivor, gender uh, reassignment survivor, and I have a lot of scars on my chest. I got scars up my neck, all the way down my chest. 11 inch scar down the middle of my back where I had a spinal fusion. When I noticed the scars in the mirror, I almost felt shame. I ate well, I exercised, I barely drank. Like, what had I done wrong that I was now gonna be in this position? When I look in the mirror, I still feel like I am less than. I feel frustrated when I look at my scars. And my skin itself, it's marked. It has a stamp that I didn't decide. It, ha it has a mark that brands me as a victim. I was raised Jewish and I was just told that tattoos were wrong. I never questioned it. I grew up in a nice Catholic family. You don't get a tattoo. There was sort of a, a bias about tattooing or a misconception that it was for like bikers or prisoners or more like a like outcasts of society. While growing up in a Mexican American household, they always associate it with gangs with people that are criminals. There's always the reaction of, you're gonna regret that when you're older. It's not professional, you can't be taken seriously. I've seen tattoos transform people's lives in a lot of different ways. It just instills a, a level of confidence that maybe wasn't there before. I think you need to be very kind and basically listen. Like, talk less, listen more. But I've definitely seen patients who are able to kind of almost re-encode a process of, yeah, there's a little bit of trauma there, but trust in the person you're working with and with a meaningful symbol or idea to kind of regain a sense of control over all of those complicated feelings. There's a shift that happens during the process that's uh, it's a little overwhelming. It's beautiful. So to be able to use your craft and your skills to, to contribute to that, um, it means everything, it's a lot. I think it's really important to connect with the artist because this art stay with you forever. It, it becomes part of you. I for sure have a different bond with my, my scar patients. Absolutely, bond, bonded for life, every one of them. The one thing I hope that all of the survivors get out of this tattoo experience is a powerful version of themselves. This tattoo is gonna change me because uh, up until now, I've lived with hating my upper body. When I see my right arm, I kind of see like this scar that has like all this pain to it, all this emotion attached to it. When I see my left arm, I don't see scars. I don't see pain. I see like this beautiful work of art that has like essentially changed my life. I hope that when I look in the mirror, my first thought is pretty. And my, my second thought is me. We are all a lot more than the worst thing that's ever happened to us. We're all a lot more than just one thing. We get to decide who we are, not a scar. For the first time, I'm gonna be able to look in the mirror and be like, yes, Shalik, you, you are cute. You have something to offer everyone um, and actually mean it.